One of the most fascinating mysteries that I've recently learned about is the presence of oddly shaped trees that hold meanings we can only imagine. It seems clear that these trees were not bent by natural forces, but who did it and why? I'd like to know if this tree is something from my people's cultural past that we couldn't take with us to Oklahoma. Dendrochronology is the science that uses tree rings to apply calendar dates to the wood. They're scattered all over the forest here, and I know there's some type of a pattern if you were to lay out and grid out the Native American trails that these trees will coincide with some of the major roads. There's no doubt about that in my experience. The Trail of Tears ripped us away from our beloved mountains, but was only a part of the sad story of how our culture was almost destroyed. The young people have forgotten their language, their culture, and their traditions. Now the elders are all leaving us, and the young, uh, the young adults are beginning to realize that they should have listened. And I've cried a river, I mean, oh no, I've cried an ocean over it. I think, wow, my ancestors walked on the same trail and I'm here. And it just touches my soul. A chilota, a chilota, a chilosta, gonna no, 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 he. And that's uh, a marker of the no, no, he is the road. Do we need these trees? Ah, probably not for their original intended purpose. Do they still hold meaning? I say yes. These bent trees still remain on the land, and we Indian people are also still here. Our ways can never be quite the same, but we can find ways to rekindle and hold on to the deep, fundamental values of our cultural heritage. And we can still discover meanings in the natural world if we will take the time to look.